Hello all, Eric Williamson, aka EMW Classic here, and I made a little bit of a hybrid uh, customization, a major complete face uh, facelift to the WWE Mattel entrance set. Now, we all know that this came out two years ago. It was outdated by the time they had a new set, and... <sighs> I was a little skeptical because I was really disappointed that they did not include a Sidetron and the overhead um, drapes over because you know it looks like you could put something there for a Sidetron and I don't know like when most people when they have it out you see like the backstage area and especially the Mattel backstage area is wide you know it's as wide as a table if not wider uh, so yeah, anyway though, I completely modified the stage, and right now you're going to see the whole thing as a whole. So without any further ado, I introduce to you my custom-made Mattel Wrestling entrance set. Alright, now I'm sure you all have a lot of questions. So, let's try... Let's just change the color right now. We'll give it a blue. Okay, now, some of you may have noticed I painted this chrome about two years ago because I saw this and I thought, hey, this would look better if it was actually a chrome color. Because I painted these a while back. These are the Elite Scale Ring Steps. So, I painted this chrome, then I got some diamond plate paper. From eBay, I put that on here. Looks, it's like a cool graphic, and also the chrome paint makes this stand out more. And I don't have a WWE show, so this is from a WCW toy. I just put the camera in here, which is kind of cool. It's a cool little gimmick to have. And then the artwork is from my brother J.R. Earls. You can subscribe to him on YouTube, youtube.com slash Earl's Family. He's got all horror, horror uh, stuff on there. He shows some of his artwork. He's, you know, got some wrestling stuff. So go check him out. Uh, and I'll also link you to his artwork on uh, YouTube. Okay, so now... One of the big questions. Oh, and also, I painted this gold and silver, as you can see, to have a more neutral color. This is my own personal decision. Don't really do it if you don't want to. Yes, you can't see the lights that great, like I'll show you right now. I mean, you can see them about it in person, but yeah. Don't, uh, don't do it if you really don't want to. I don't know, That's it's your personal decision. This is something I wanted to do, to have more of a neutral looking color instead of it being red just for raw all the time. Okay, now, because I'm getting, uh, my brother Earls is actually sending me some custom Raw and SmackDown uh, screens to have, because I have the, elite, the authentic scale ring with the Raw and SmackDown skirt. So anyway, with all the new logos and whatnot, but now, get to this piece, because this was a fucking monster to build, and sorry for my French, but me and my dad put this together, I was to design it, I wanted it to look like what you see now on uh, Smackdown and Raw, in various stages, and even for some reason it reminds me a little bit of something TNA would have too, um... I guess because really just the blue lights just makes me think of TNA. Um, so, yeah. This is a wooden frame. I forget what kind of wood. But we put little wooden, wood blocks here. Paint, spray painted the whole thing black. Cut it to a bridge. Cut it here so it fits in the groove. You know, this little like groove type deal here. Now... I got this paper from the same guy that sells this. This is a graphic, a silver graphic paper from eBay. Then I got the lights from eBay. This is a 16 foot cable. We drilled holes um, and then we fed the wire through the holes. You can see the, the wires in the back. You can even see the lights like shining onto my belt here. Uh, 
so yeah. And it changed any color. As you saw at the beginning of the video, we got a uh, a blue and red for EMW. You could change it to a red, you could change it to a green, you could change it to a white, you could change it to a light blue, you could change it to a teal, change it to yellow for Hulk Hogan. Do whatever you, the hell you want to this thing. This thing is, um, this is an amazing thing, but it cost not a hefty price because the wood, you know, my dad had it at his job, he works at a church, and, you know, it was pretty, everything meshed well together in time. But I hope you all like this a lot, because I mean, this it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And as you see here, I got another crowd uh, background. This is a kind of blurry, and then I put like an EMW thing, and I actually painted the top part black, so it blends in with this a little bit more. But as you can see, like a sh from a shot like right here, like you can't really tell, and it does look like an arena. You got an EMW skirt now for the authentic scale ring. And this is the authentic scale ring that came out about two months ago. Oh yeah, here's my custom APA Bradshaw and Farouk. Don't take this ass whooping personally. That's from Ralph's Figure Clothing. It's still around. The store's still intact. And actually, wow, that's actually a pretty cool shot right there. Like that look, <laughs> damn man. All right. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. This is my new setup, and in my opinion, this is now my favorite setup. I really personally enjoy this a lot. Hope you all enjoy this too. And if anyone's gonna build this, please, you have to know how to use power tools. If not help have a parent or someone help you who knows how to use power tools I would suggest using wood I would suggest I wouldn't suggest using this with cardboard or anything else that stuff will wear really quickly especially if you're gonna run these lights that have some weight to them through it the wood it the wood helps it hold up and this is this is this ain't going anywhere and this actually connects cleanly to the stage it clings to it. And this structure weighs, well, this thing weighs about 25 pounds. So it's, when we didn't cut it, it weighed about 40. So this weighs about 25 pounds. You know, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. And see y'all soon.